Hi guys and welcome to day 21 of Vlogmas. Oh my god, it makes me so sad there's only three days left. How are we all going to survive once Vlogmas is over? I don't know. I'm not going to lie, it is half past seven in the evening right now and today has just got away from me. It was so manic. I was editing my video this morning and it took ages because I'd filmed so much footage yesterday. Um... And then I had a few bits to do around the house before my mum turned up and then literally she was here and I just didn't pick up my camera at all. And then it's got kind of got to the evening and I've just thought, oh my God, I haven't vlogged anything today. There's just not been time and there's not really been anything worth vlogging, really. Um, so I thought today would be the perfect opportunity to show you guys what I got Andy for Christmas because I was going to do this as a video anyway but then it just worked out well today because this evening was the evening that I'd put aside to wrap his presents the last load of wrapping that I have to do thank god um and as it turned out it's worked out great because I haven't vlogged that much today anyway and I thought it'd be really fun to share with you what I got him um I'm obviously going to tell him not to watch this video and he doesn't really make a point of watching my videos anyway because he sort of generally hears me editing them and he films with me so I, I just yeah he doesn't really need to watch them um but I'm going to have to edit this one in private and tell him 100% and not to watch it or listen to it otherwise all the secrets will be out and he is quite a hard person to buy for I think because he does quite well for himself. He, If he wants something, he can buy it or he'll buy himself it. So he is quite difficult to buy for. And the things that he does really want tend to be like hundreds and hundreds of pounds. But at the same time, he can be quite, I find it quite easy to buy for him as well because I see little bits and pieces out in the shops and like funny, like novelty things. And I think, oh yeah, he'll really like that. Plus, since we've got together, we've always our little nickname for each other has always been Bear. Like he calls me Bear, I call him Bear. So when whenever we see like bear related things, we will always generally pick them up for each other. So there's been a few things that I've seen with bears on that I've got him. Um, I'm not gonna show you every single thing that I've got him because otherwise we'll just probably be here all night. And also I just thought I'd rather pick out the select things that I really like rather than everything. There's a load of little bits and pieces um, that I just thought was not worth showing you. So I'm quickly going to go through each thing because I'm mid-wrapping at the moment. He's got all my presents up at his office, so he's just gone out up to his office to go and wrap them. And I'm just really worried he's going to walk back in at some point and just see all his presents lying around little bit stressful um but hopefully he'll be up there for a while I should think he won't rush back so I'm just gonna pick things out at random to show you so the first thing are these hand and toenail clippers I saw these in Edinburgh and I really like them I love the fact that they're copper obviously I'm drawn to everything that's copper and I, I really like the fact that they're in the shape of a hand and foot. Plus, he's terrible. I think I've said this before or in a blog post, but he's terrible for stealing or borrowing my nail clippers and never putting them back in the right place. So I always end up missing them <laughs> or not being able to find them. So I thought these are so nice and he can just have these for himself. And he does cut his hand nails as well. I was originally going to put these in crackers because we're doing like fill your own crackers this year but then when I was sorting out my bits and pieces for the crackers I thought actually these are probably a little bit too nice to put in crackers and I like the fact that they're a set and I didn't really want to split them up so I think you'll really like these. Along the sort of hygiene, male hygiene, beauty, I don't know what you call it really, 
male grooming, that's the words. Um, I picked him up one of these in Tiger. It's like a little callous blade. He loves stuff like this. He loves anything that's like a knife. That makes him sound really crazy. He likes any little tools that help with grooming. And this is probably going to get a bit too much information right now, but he's had a Veruca on his foot for so long. He had it when we went to honeymoon, which was 2013, and it still hasn't gone. So I thought this would be the perfect tool for him to kind of scrape it away. I thought he could have loads of fun with this, just scraping away dead skin. It's really horrible, isn't it, to be talking about this? But I just saw this in Tiger and thought, that's a must. And I think it was only like a pound or two pound or something. So I thought it was a good little stocking filler. Um, another thing I got him, he's quite into, he's not massively into male grooming, but he does like his moisturisers. He suffers from a lot of dry skin and he does, you know, take care of himself. And I, I got him one of these B-Men moisturisers, anti-aging. He's going to look at that and be like, what are you trying to say? Am I getting old? But I really like bee products because they're cruelty free and vegan friendly and he doesn't really splash out on anything like this himself so not that it's expensive I can't even remember how much this was probably like six or seven pounds but he doesn't really buy this stuff himself he always buys like a massive value tub from Superdrug with like their own brand moisturizer um, so when it comes to like Christmas and his birthday I like to get him something a little bit more special than that so I think he's had this before or something similar and he's really liked it so I thought again a nice little stocking filler. This I'm quite excited about because he's been talking about wanting one of these for so long. It is a milk frother like a little uh, battery operated handheld one and he's really into like coffee and hot drinks and he really wants to treat himself to a new coffee machine soon and he's always like trying to improve how he makes coffee and stuff and he was really impressed when we found the Oatly foamable milk but he's always been looking for like a tool to help him make his milk really frothy for coffee so I saw this and thought perfect and a lot of the kitchen stuff we get is from Bodum and we get it in like the lime green colour so all our stuff's kind of matching so another good find. I'm not sure how much this was. I think it was like under £10. I also, this is another thing that we've looked at loads of times in the past and for some reason he's never bought it or I've never bought it for him, but it's like a retro Casio digital watch. He has, um, he has a couple of nice watches actually. He's got an iWatch, an Apple iWatch, which we all chipped in for, for his 35th birthday. I can't remember what his other one is. He's got a couple of really nice watches, but sometimes he just likes an average day-to-day -day watch for when he's doing stuff like skateboarding, which I'm not sure he's gonna be doing, um, but like riding his bike and just being out and about, or maybe even like going to the gym, I don't know. But we both are quite into like retro things that remind us of like when we were growing up and, the 80s and the 90s so he's often like looked at these I've got one in gold and it's the ladies ones really nice it's like a thin strap gold one and I love it it's really retro but it's actually really cool as well I love it um so I think he will really like this I think this is probably the sort of watch he had when he was like a teenager and it will hold lots of nostalgia for him and I bet he ends up wearing this probably more than he wears his eye watch Next up, and a very suitable present for Andy, the Drone Pilot's Handbook by Adam Juniper. I read online that this is the best-selling drone book. I'm not sure if there's anything about drones that he doesn't already know. He's quite into drones, and he loves flying his drone. He's really good at flying his drone, so I don't know if there's going to be anything in here that's going to benefit him anyway. I don't know, but I thought... It's just a nice little thing, isn't it, to open and he can have a little read on that off, read of that after Christmas and yeah, I just thought it was quite cool. I like the illustrations and stuff as well. By the way, talking of drones, if you haven't gone over and watched Casey Neistat's Christmas vlog video on YouTube, watch it. We watched it last night like this. It's crazy. They basically built a massive drone that 
pulled him along on a snowboard and lifted him into the air. Andy was blown away. I think he would love to do something like that. Next up, and following on from what I was saying earlier about we call each other bear and buy a lot of bear related things, I saw this. How cool is that? It's another mug. We are so obsessed with buying mugs, but um, it's a kawaii bear mug by Sass and Bell. And we went into the Sass and Bell shop when we was in Brighton just before my birthday. And I saw this and I was just like, oh my God, me and him totally need this. And I wouldn't be surprised if he's bought me this as well, because I think we both like logged it when we saw it. But they did other ones as well. They did a really cute cat one. And I think they did like a panda one or a fox one. I can't quite remember. But these are so cute. And I'm really kind of hoping that he has got me one as well. Because to have matching bear mugs would just be amazing. And again, I think this was like under £10. I think it was like £8 or something. He's going to love that. He loves a big mug for his coffee and tea. I'm going to try and open the next one up. This is a pack leader t-shirt <laughs> and a little while ago we was watching some of Caesar Milan's videos on how to like train your dogs and stuff and I think I think it was Caesar Milan that had a pack leader t-shirt and he was like oh my god that's so cool I need one of them so as soon as he said that I went online and just typed in pack leader t-shirt and a few come up I think there was some on eBay and Amazon I think this was from Amazon can't 100% remember um but he loves grey and he loves like black and navy so this is like perfect and I know he will wear this this won't be like a novelty thing he will wear this on a daily basis and yeah I just I thought amazing that's perfect for him for this Christmas and again that was about 10 pounds everything's working out to about 10 pounds um the other day I was in Tesco's and I stumbled across their mail section and their mail thermal I don't know if you would call this underwear it's like a bit too thick undergarments like this is the sort of thermal stuff that I think you would wear if you were going somewhere really cold that you could wear under jeans or a jumper maybe but I thought actually he would love this for just like chilling around the house in because he's quite into like skinny fit joggers and the long johns thermals are really quite slim fit and I just thought actually they'd make really nice just like indoor lounge clothes and we're both really into our lounge clothes because pretty much as soon as we get in from being out we're like let's get changed I cannot chill out neither of us can chill out in the house in like our going out clothes so we've got quite a large selection of lounge clothes but again he only tends to really buy them or receive them at Christmas so his stuff can get worn out quite quickly especially because he's a bit of a daredevil and he's always like out in the garden tinkering with stuff so his stuff can get worn out quite quickly and he has been complaining this month that he hasn't really got any like chill out clothes or sort of Christmassy pajamas and stuff and these aren't Christmassy but I know he will love wearing these over Christmas. Another thing I got him oh and these were about these weren't as cheap as I thought they were going to be I just assumed Tesco's Florence and Fred range would be quite cheap but I think the top was like £10 and the bottoms were £10 so I think this was £20 in total it might have been like 18 it was between 18 and £20 for the top and bottoms which for Tesco's I thought seems quite expensive but maybe it's not I just don't shop there that often next up I got him this jumper it's very festive and again it's his colors like gray it's all kind of different grays actually but it looks almost like gray blue and black in some lights um this is from Georgia Asda and it's completely synthetic because obviously I try to follow a vegan lifestyle so I don't buy anything wool or anything made of like animal products so this is completely synthetic and this was 20 pounds and I saw it on um Asda's Instagram page they posted a picture of a guy in it and I was like that jumper is amazing like it looks really good and really festive and really Christmassy so I just hopped onto their website and they had it in his size and I just ordered it and it actually feels really good quality like 
I often buy bits and pieces from clothes sections in supermarkets. I'm a big fan of George Asda. I've always been a big fan of TU at Sainsbury's. And now I've bought a couple of bits from Tesco's, Florence and Fred. And I just think their stuff's actually really decent and really nice quality and doesn't cost the end of the earth. Because I was looking at jumpers like this in Fat Face and I think they were like 60 quid or something. And they didn't really feel much better quality than this. So for £20, for something that he's only probably really going to wear in December and January, maybe February... I thought, yeah, I've got to get it. It's a bargain. And I know he'll love the colours. And I keep trying to make him wear festive clothing. And he's not really that into it. I think for some reason he feels silly in it. Even when it's like this. Like when it's not even like a Christmas jumper. He feels a bit self-conscious and silly in it. But he always looks great in it. So he's going to wear this. I'm going to make him basically. Even if he doesn't want to. And then last but not least. I've saved his main present till the end. And... Since what's happened to him with his skateboard accident, I'm now wondering if this is actually such a good present, but he has wanted one for ages, all year he's been looking at them, whenever we go into different shops he's always picking them up and looking at them and mentioning them. I got him a penny board, which is basically like a small skateboard. Um, he's quite a big fan of Casey, ne Casey Neistat's vlogs on YouTube and Casey Neistat's always got one of these like on his backpack and when he's going through the airport he just like whips it out and skates to the gate on it and I think Andy really likes the idea of that but this one actually was in the sale because yeah I think some of them are quite expensive for what they are some of them are like a hundred pounds and I just thought no it seems a bit extortionate for what it is really but this one was in the sale and it's actually glow in the dark it looks like white and black but the board itself is glow in the dark and I don't know whether he's going to find that a bit tacky or cool it could go either way but hopefully he'll think it's cool but obviously since his accident he's a bit anti-skateboards at the moment but I think that's mainly his electric one because it was going so fast when he fell off of it I think he said today he was doing like between 15 and 20 miles an hour which is ridiculous and I'm not sure if he'd ever be able to achieve that speed on like one of these skateboards but maybe this will help him build up the confidence to get back on it and I know that he will have loads of fun on this and he's already kind of over his accident he's not really my battery just died um yeah I think he's he's pretty much over his accident um but I'm not I'm not sure how long it will be before he gets back on his electric skateboard that's a whole nother thing but hopefully he'll still be excited for a penny board although I was really annoyed like you know when you order something online and it turns up I think I got it from skatehut.com and it's obviously an issue when you live together and you do online shopping because packages turn up and if it says the shop on it it can sometimes be a real giveaway as to what the present is so a few weeks ago that turned up in like an, a rectangle shaped box and it had skatehut.com on it and I was just like for fuck's sake <laughs> I just thought he's gonna know he's gonna know it's a skateboard obviously he I don't know if he knows it's a penny board or but there was no getting away from the fact that I'd bought him something from Skate Hut that was in the shape of a skateboard so it's really annoying when shops do that I think at Christmas time especially they should just like do like anonymous packaging because if your other half or your partner or your husband or whatever picks up the parcel it's a massive giveaway as to what you've got them. So I was a bit let down by that because I, I, I honestly don't think he would have thought that I would have bought him one of them if he hadn't have seen that box. But I think at the same time, he's probably forgotten about it now. It was a few weeks ago. So fingers crossed he won't remember. I need to crack on and get these wrapped up. So I shall come back to you guys soon.
I've decided to exchange cards tonight and this is the card Andy gave me. How cute is that? And it's personalised. Where did you get this from? Not on the high street. Not on the high street. And it's a bear. We both went for bear cards, obviously. This is a keepsake one. And Andy opened his one and done the little honeycomb bit. We've also put presents under the tree tonight. We've both gone for sacks as well. This is my sack for Andy. I really like this sack. It was, oh, it was a Tiger Stores number. Is that a Tiger one? Yeah. Where did you get my sack? Guess. Not on the high street? <laughs> <laughs> Amazon? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, all my Christmas presents from Amazon. Uh... Exciting times. No rest for the wicked in this house today. It's 11 p.m. and I'm baking up my mince pies for Christmas. Second batch this week. And today we are using Sainsbury's mince meat, which is clearly marked vegan. And I really like this one last year. And the other mince pies I've tried this year were Tesco's mince meat and Waitrose one. The Tesco's one was all right, but the Waitrose one was a bit too, I don't know, zesty. Um, so hopefully this one will still be as good as last year's one. And these should taste really nice. I've gone for little gingerbread and heart toppers as well. My third batch of mince pies come out perfectly. No sticking to the tin, nice brownness. I'll dust them with some icing sugar tomorrow, I think. 21. Another reindeer. So as of today, I've been using the new MacBook. Rose gold, I'm not sure how well you can see it on here. It's a really nice color though. I need to take a nice picture of it before it gets really smudgy. It's so light and like, just nice to use. I also have a couple of Christmas cards to open before we head down to bed. Oh, this card's really sweet. Dear Sarah, Merry Christmas. I'm so glad we got to meet earlier this year. Hope our paths cross again in 2017. Been so much fun watching your vlogs this year as well. Lots of love, Layla. Oh, thanks, Layla. And she's at the blog Tape Parade, and her Twitter name is also at Tape Parade. That's so cute. Is that an Irish wolfhound? I really want an Irish wolfhound one day. It's a donkey. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's a donkey. Sarah and Andy, lots of love from Sue, Jeff and Alana. Oh, that's so sweet. That's my mum's neighbours. Cute. Okay, you may remember this bee challenge box I got in the post a couple of days ago. I completely forgot to do it yesterday, so I'm gonna do it now, because I'm really excited about it and I didn't wanna not do it before Christmas. So, inside it says, find two bottles of makeup removers marked A and B which are these. One is new and has just launched in super drug stores. Swatch the makeup item provided twice and then remove each swatch with cotton wool using both makeup removers. And then at the end, reveal the identity of the makeup removers by opening the envelope. So there's my two swatches. How nice is this eyeshadow, by the way? I think I'm gonna have to look into maybe getting some more of these. It's a gosh forever eyeshadow metallic eyeshadow stick i thought it was an eyeliner originally but it's an eyeshadow stick and it's so nice really pigmented and really glossy so let's go for makeup remover a first yeah that's worked quite quite well really it's just me being a bit cat candid that's pretty impressive. And then next we'll try makeup remover B. Oh, there's a definite difference there. That one definitely hasn't come off as well. 
I mean, it's still come off, but there was a noticeable difference in the first swipe there. This would be really awkward if <laughs> if it wasn't wasn't the one it was um, supposed to be. A is B stubborn. Did we pass the challenge? Oh my god, yes, you did. That is really cool. So the one that come off the best was actually the right one, which is B's new cleanser for stubborn makeup. Stubborn makeup remover, $7.99 exclusively at Superdrug. That's really interesting. I'll be keeping bottle A then. I'd be interested to know what bottle B was. 100% vegan and cruelty free. Say night, Andy. Good night, one and all. What's on the agenda tomorrow? Tomorrow so we've got good. to get up early. We need to go to Pets at Home and M&S and we need to pick up our Christmas veg box from the farm shop. And then in the evening, we've got dinner with my dad and we've also got to pack at some point. Oh, it's just never ending, isn't it? Is that where you think you're sleeping? <laughs> Make yourself comfortable. She does that all the time. <laughs> Do you think we'll actually get to relax when we get to the log cabin? So I feel like I'm on the verge of burning out right now. No. Anyway, we're going to bed now. So Say goodnight. Nice. Bye.